This is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. I um, got something for Christmas that I was a little perplexed as what it was. And I said thank you for it because, you know, a coffee theme. I love my coffee. And I thought, well, what do I do with this? And then today, I sat down and I went through this. This says it's basically a junk journal, although I do not consider this junk. Let's just get that straight from the get-go. It's pages in ephemera, and there's 22 pages, but let's do a flip through. I don't know where she got this, but I think this is great. It's got beautiful vintage looking sort of coffee things and then it's got I know this is upside down but I don't want to keep going around and around so look at coffee cups and, and beans and um, spoons upside down then it has these two pages and I'm assuming that you fold these in half and then on the back half there are it looks like some kind of a coffee pot and the coffee cup and beans and leaves and things like that then you have, okay, so um, this page is of different kinds of coffee pots, coffee makers. I've never used this kind before, but I have seen it, and I've never seen this one before. All right, and then there's, you know, more paper on the back. Again, these are pages, and it looks like you're supposed to fold them right in half. I have one of these. My mom and my dad, I don't know, it was probably more my dad than my mom, but my father has two wooden coffee grinders that I love. Even if I never use them again, it is so cool to have them. Bean paper, and there's a plate where a plate could go up there. Bag coffee. Sorry about the cat. I got rid of the dog, but the cat's in here now. <laughs> There's more pages. More pages. These are just wonderful. <gasps> oh, espresso, latte, cappuccino. These are my peeps here. I have a, an espresso machine, and I love it. And when it dies or it sputters and acts like it's going to die, I start to panic. And yes, I've tried the K-Cups that say um, espresso coffee. So gross. Not the same. Oh, there's another form of the grind bean grinder. Coffee mill. These are just so cool. All right, so this... These are... I... I I hesitate to say, but there's lines on the back of the paper here so that if you use this, you can, I guess you use this as a journal card. If you don't want to, you can glue it down on something, but if you do that, you're wasting these lovely lines on the back. Same for here. This is a postcard, and these are all postcards, except, well, they're all mail-related. Let's see. What was it? And there's lines on the back. These are tags. I think I would glue them on some kind of um, cardstock to give them, you know, make them a little more firm because this is glossy paper. Here's more things to put in the book. And these are background papers. Isn't this cool? So I'm going to make this. I, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this, but I've decided I'm going to make this this year. I don't know when exactly, but I've decided I have to do this. This is a journal. It's done all the thinking for you right in here, except for putting it together and how to arrange it. But, you know, you're not going to have to chase around and look for images and stuff. I think this is a very clever book. I think this is more the kind of book that a beginner would use so they understand how to sew a book together and how to compile all the stuff. This might be more for a beginner than it is for anybody else, but let me tell you what, they did a great job, and it says Operation Reprint. I don't know what this is or where it came from, but I have to tell you, I am impressed. I think it's lovely, and all the papers are, you know, they're not flimsy papers. They're pretty good, sturdy, heavier than text weight. 
and glossy and lovely and all the pictures are wonderful. I just, I really like this. Okay, so that's enough of that. I am going to put this book together. I will do it in the future, but I need to find a front and a back for the, um, a cover and the back. And I was thinking that I might want to cover the book with some of these wonderful papers because you know they're the same on the front as on the back. I think these might make good pages for the cover of a book. I mean, how can you resist this? This is just great. All right. If you guys know where you can get any more of these, please leave a comment in the comment section because I really like these. I think they're very clever and it would be a lovely gift to give to a beginner journaler. Um, somebody who doesn't really exactly know what they're doing. This more or less, with all the images and stuff, kind of doesn't walk you through it, but it gives you an idea where to start and how to put it together. All right, everybody. Thank you to the person who gave this to me. I really appreciate it. She knows who she is. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to start, uh, poss possibly here quickly, start putting it together. So I will do a video and do, you know, the process of me putting it together. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.